Welcome back everyone. You know what it is. Okay, so first thing... Uh, my keyboard is going to sound a little bit different. Because <laughs> I... Uh, my pal gave me his, his uh, old keyboard and mouse. So no more sticky W key. And it will probably click a little less. Yeah, this elevator music is the Soldier of Fortune 2 theme, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Alright. Uh, second, I increased the game's volume a little bit, both the sound effects and the uh, and the music. I uh, It would be nice if I could increase the, sound, the uh, volume of the voices separately, but, uh, yeah, well, that's not an option, is it? Alright then. Welcome to the shop's roof. Ooh. Uh, let's see, I wonder... Yeah. There, there may be one thing that we should keep in mind. That there's nothing on this roof. Except for this machine gun mounted here. Oh, yep, and it's, it's fully loaded. So yeah, j just in case we need to shoot down something in the sky, that, there's that. There, there is really nothing else to see on this roof. It's kind of a shame, really. It's like... It's a realistic-looking roof, but it's kind of boring. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Alright then, let's go to Colombia. By the way, the grease gun will never appear in the game again as far as I can remember. Okay, the shop believes that the upcoming world trade meeting in Switzerland is in danger of a terrorist attack. As part of the effort to prevent such an occurrence, the shop is investigate investigating a recent viral attack by a Colombian rebel faction. It is thought that the ex biopreparate scientist Dmitry Sestrogor, an old proje of Dr. Pyotr Ivanovich, created the bioweapon used. Your mission is to investigate the rebel faction and determine if Sestragor in fact created the bioweapon they used. You'll be working with the US Marines to accomplish this goal. The Marines are wary of outside assistance, but have agreed to accept your help in an advisory capacity. Alright then. Let's go to the outfit screen. Not too many uh, choices, but... Uh, there are only two pistols in the game, much like uh, much like the first game, really. <laughs> I don't know why I complain about... It always seems odd to me that this game only has two pistols. I like the pistols it does have. But uh, yeah, there's the M1911A1, which we've been using, and the US SOCOM, which we have not used yet. And we can also add attachments to it. Only one, though. We can choose between a silencer or a tactical light. Columbia isn't very dark, so... Oh, there's also a laser sight in case you want to increase your uh, accuracy. Uh, hmm. What do I fancy today? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's go with a laser sight for now, eh? Yeah, add that to our inventory. Uh, oh, we can actually choose the grease can. <laughs> Just for all the time's sake, I suppose. But no, we are... Going with the M4, with the M203 grenade launcher. Oh yes. Grenade launcher is going to be very useful, and, well, it's just an all-round reliable weapon. As for the M60 machine gun, I'm going to add it to my inventory. Uh, it's nothing like the heavy no, light machine gun in Soldier of Fortune 1, unfortunately. This one is rather inaccurate. And, of course, uh, frag grenade and binox. As if we're going to use binoculars, really. Environments in this game are not really huge enough to warrant binoculars. But that guy is wearing the exact same colours on his I face as his Lord. uniform. Yes, I am. Lieutenant. Alex Larson, sir. Uh, you can call me Skip. Hawk and I fought together in the Gulf War. I was sad to hear the news. He was a good man. Any friend of Hawks is a friend of mine. Good to meet you, Lieutenant. Likewise, sir. 
Yeah, good indeed. Huh. Yeah, you've been briefed, sir. Not fully. What do you have for me, Corporal? As you know, the Colombian government has been plagued for years by militant insurgents. Forty-eight hours ago, one of these groups attacked the village of Huerza with a deadly bio-agent. They call themselves La Fuerza del Dios. The Force of God. Correct. From what we've seen so far, I don't expect there to be any survivors. La Fuerza del Dios took credit for the attack just hours after the bio-agent was released into the village's water supply. Now they're threatening to attack more civilian targets if the Colombian government doesn't meet their demands. What's our mission? American intelligence has pinpointed La Fuerza del Dios and our operatives set up a base camp in their vicinity. Alpha Team was dispatched to take them out, but we lost contact with them shortly after they landed. We can't seem to locate them anywhere. We're set to send in the Bravo Team and we want you to go along as an advisor. Search and destroy? Negative. We want you to go in. Find Alpha Team and extract them. While you're there, investigate Puerta. Look for survivors and find out everything you can about the bio agent they used to wipe out the village. Understood, Corporal. Anything else? Our strike team on the ground is being briefed as we speak. Who's in charge? Sergeant Jack Anderson is leading the Bravo team. He'll get you where you need to go. You'll hook up with him as soon as we land. Right, it's nice to see some uh, friendly faces in this game, whereas, uh, well, we only really had Hawk in the first game, so at least there's that, huh? At least there's that. Right. Well, they look like they're prepared for anything. They're rather well dug in here. This, this little, uh, what you call it's almost like a little base in this place. Major Mullins, I'm Sergeant Jack Anderson. Pleasure to meet you. Here's the situation. Bravo team has already been dispatched and is working their way toward the enemy encampment. You ought to meet up with them about seven clicks from here. We've reconned the area and it should be safe travel until you meet up with them. But the jungle is dense and the terrain is rough, so don't get lost out there. No, Major. You are only an observer. That's right. Once you meet up with Bravo team, I want you to follow Sergeant Peterson's command. You have your orders, but we've got ours as well. You wander off, start playing cowboy, or put my men in danger, and they'll take you down. We can't have any loose cannons on this deck. Understood? Understood. Good. Now that's set. Sniper! Take her! Get going! Into Oh boy, you see it yourself as well. Oh boy. Looks like they've already got a. A couple of the marines. Come on, we can at least help out a little bit here. Nice. Oh, there's an M4. Ah, why did I bring an M4 if, <laughs> if this was already here? But oh well. Uh, yeah, you use that radio and call for help. But, uh, shame. Uh, I wonder why he crouched down to take a look at the... Uh, to uh, take a look at the dirt before we went. Ah, okay, that way's blocked off, isn't it? Or can I jump over it? Yeah, I can jump over it. Okay then, let's be on our way. By the way, when uh, when the captain said that his guys will take us down if we don't do as we're told. Uh, he was very serious. Oh. Oh. Nice. Okay. Of course, they're using the AK-74s, which uh, is for some reason compatible, well, using ammo compatible with our M4. Ooh. Bit of armor and some more ammo. Nice. It looked like the jungle was ending there, but nope. We've got more jungle here. Oh boy. So, Colombia is a bit of a difficulty increase. Well, quite so. I know there's a guy hiding behind there. I can see a shadow as well, I think. 
nice. I think he was holding the sniper rifle. Oh. Yeah, partly because of all the different weapons that the enemy's are using now. Like, uh, they're, they're using... Uh, oh, grenade. Oh. You, you were hidden so well that I, uh, I didn't see you. It's just, well, it's more like the, the sniper rifles and the AK-74s that they're using are, well, unsettling to our health. Also, I want to I wanna drop this. How do I? I forgot the drop button. Hang on a moment. Drop, 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 drop. T. Okay. Because I want to, I want to see if I can pick this up. Yeah. Okay. Because this might end up being handy. Might. Uh, it also doesn't help that the enemies can... Yeah, it was a sniper rifle. Nice. The enemies can uh, see through the bushes, of course. Uh, while we do not have so much luck. Oh! Snipers usually miss on their first shot, thankfully. Let's change to burst fire mode. See uh, how much mileage we can get out of this, huh? Oh. Yeah, sometimes this gun fires slowly and sometimes it fires fast. What's up with that, huh? Although it reminds me of, uh, I think, uh, Doom 3 and Quake 4. I think the uh, rate of fire for the assault rifles in those games was, uh, it was variable. Like, it, it varied slightly like, from bullet to bullet by just milliseconds. It, it felt very nice. At least that's that's how I remember it. I don't know if that was actually a thing. Uh, I ended up playing Quake. Oh, Quake Four more than more than was warranted. All right. Uh, oh boy. Got enemies on two sides. Uh, I'll t try taking care of the one up here first. Oh, missed. Missed again. Somehow I missed that. Okay. He must be protected by... by something. Oh. He actually ended up destroying that. Nice job. Have this. Uh, that didn't go far enough, did it? Uh-oh. At least that wasn't anywhere near us. Okay. Let's run over to that pillar. Let's see, maybe we can lob a grenade into there? If I can get this right... Nah. I think I need to hold it down a bit further. A bit more. No. And nah, still nothing. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let me try shooting him just one more time. Okay, that worked. Okay, there's, there's barbed wire there, so... Let's not go any further. I can't remember if it hurts us or not. Uh, I, I, I remember this level fairly well because it was... I believe it was the level included in the Low Violence Soldier of Fortune 2 demo. Oh, okay, he threw it all the way over the... Oh man, this is crazy. If you're gonna run away from your own grenade, don't don't throw a grenade in the first place. Okay, this is where that pillbox was. Oh. Oh, he still managed to throw his grenade. Oh. Need to find a spare suit of armor soon. Yeah, you should be done for. Hmm. 
Okay, nice armor. A bit of armor. At least we can restore our health and get some extra grenades. Nice. Mm. Ah. We're definitely getting a ton of uh, handheld grenades in this oh, in this level, aren't we? Ah, hold on. Maybe this will be a, a good time to use this. I'll, I'll throw a couple. Oh, great. Oh, somewhere we picked up uh, M1911A1. Nice. Oh. Oh. I, I thought I killed him, but I didn't. Okay. Let's get the pistol back away. Oh. It seems like they may be getting rather grenade happy. So back when I first played the uh, low violence demo, I was really surprised about the huge jump in difficulty back then. I, well, first of all, I think it was stuck on one difficulty. I think. That's how I remember it. And second, it, it didn't feel like I was actually hitting any of the enemies that I was shooting at. That might, that might have been due to the, uh, well, how the accuracy works in this game. It... It is a bit, uh... How do you say... Harsh, maybe? Like, you, you, you can... Your accuracy can be severely, uh... Severely affected by... Just running a bit. Some more armor. Hmm. Oh, he's in front of us, isn't he? He just threw a grenade. Okay. Notice how, uh, like, the, the 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 laser module on our pistol has a different lighting applied to it than the rest of the pistol. Much like the, this house and the a geometry around it. Huh? Also, we can uh, just change the... Oh, switched on by hitting mouse. Oh. This is a job for the shotgun, I think. guy out there. Oh! Phew, that was lucky. I would not like to take a face full of buckshot. Ah, great. Armor. And some health. Make sure we're fully stopped. Oh, great. There's some 12 gauge shells. Anyone out here then? Yep. Ah, guy up there. Don't need the sniper rifle for this, but I'll use it anyway. Hello there, having fun leaning around. Okay then, fine, that's how it is. Okay, my, my sights must need readjusting. Okay. Whoa. What? Wonder what that was about. I, I have no idea. I must have uh, pressed a button. I wanted to say a sniper rifle, but uh, I guess there's no need for that now. And we lost the armor that we did have. Uh, I sure hope this is still recording. Uh, well, just in case it isn't, I'm going to uh, stop the recording here and go on to the next one for now. See how that works out.